Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Joji and I do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews. So if you wanted to see more of my future content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And in today's video, I am going to rank my NARS blushes. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of blushes from NARS and you know me guys. If you've been here, I'm a big fan of blushes and this is why I have at least about 12 blushes from NARS. It's right here. I'm excited to share all the shades that I have from them. I already have my makeup on. If you wanted to see the tutorial of this makeup, this is already out on my channel. So I'm going to put the link on the description down below if you guys are curious to see what I use on this makeup. Let's go ahead with my top 12 shade from NARS. So this is the packaging as usual and this is in the shade Oasis. So the reason why this is my number 12 it's just because I feel like I can only wear this like during the fall and it's kind of like specific. It's a bit dark and it has specks of like glitter of gold into the blush. So I'm going to show you one more time. I did not use it a lot because it's my least favorite but also like fall. Next up is my top 11 blush and this one is called Dominate. So this is one of the newest blush uh, shade that they launched but not new new I feel like a few years but since then they haven't launched something in their line. This blush honestly it's really pretty. Look at this. So it is sort of like this satin finish. It's very very pigmented. Look how how pretty that color is. I would honestly use this as an eyeshadow. I feel like I use this a lot more on my eyes. It's also very shiny so you don't need a shimmer or like an, a highlighter to put on your cheek and that's why it's my top 11. Okay so top 10 is Savage. Also the same thing it's satin finish so if you're not a fan of satin and if you just want like a matte finish then this is not for you and that's how it looks like there. So you see that it's quite dark. I'm gonna give you a swatch here so you can see how it looks like. So there it is. It's definitely good for like deeper skin tone. Same as that uh, Dominate, deeper skin tone would rock on this color. You have to be careful if you have same skin tone like me, it will work. But very, very careful with the way how you apply these blushes because they're very pigmented. And also they're like satin finish. So if you put too much, it's hard to blend. Okay, so that is my top 10. Next up, my top 9 is Tempted. I really really love this blush. I mean I use this a lot more than I should probably but it's just so pretty. But then there's a lot more that I use more than this and this is why my this is my top 9 and this is the shade. It's honestly really pretty. If you don't have something like this on your collection, you definitely should get this. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty it is. Right? So it has a little bit of this like warm tone. I'm going to give you a swatch of this. So it's a light color, it's almost like nude, but again, it's it has a shimmer into it. It almost feels like metallic-ish. So again, if you're not a fan, stay away from this formula. Next up, I have Dolce Vita. So Dolce Vita, I have a smaller size here. It's just I don't really use it a lot either because it's very specific. I feel like I only use this during the fall. And this is how it looks like. Look at it. It's barely touched, but I'm going to give you a swatch anyway. It is beautiful. Actually, this is one of the best seller for NARS blushes. And I'm just gonna maybe swatch it right beside the Savage. Purple or like plum-ish color with a little bit of red and pink peeking through. Lately, I am staying away from the blush that has like a lot more like plum because I feel like I look older. <laughs> so I'm really digging into more like pink. Uh, coral lately. I thought I would never look good in coral but it depends on the tone of it. If it's too like really really orange I'm not like really into that but it has a little bit of pink and coral then it looks good. Like I know my color. <laughs> okay so that is Dolce Vita and then my number seven 
is orgasm. And I know you guys, you're gonna come to me and say like, Why is it your number like seven only? Orgasm is like the most popular blush in the world or whatsoever. I just feel like it doesn't have enough pigmentation that it really shows on my skin. And that's my problem. Even though I can build up a lot, I still need color. And that's why the orgasm is only my top seven. And this is how it looks like in the middle. I don't have the regular size, but I do have it in the palette. It's over there. So as you see, it, it barely shows on my skin. And I'm going to give you a second swatch. Although this kind of color is beautiful, it is so flattering on the skin. It's just that the more I build up with orgasm, it just doesn't sit properly. And that's why top seven. Next up, I'm going to show you my top six, Liberté. So this is how it looks like. And talking about pigmentation, Look how vibrant this blush is. I mean, you don't need a lot, baby. Like if you <laughs> if you were to apply this on your cheek, be very, very careful. This blush specifically, it's very, very pigmented. So take a look at that shade right away. You can see the color. This is what I'm talking about. This is the thing that my skin just loves. So that is in the shade. Liberté. That is my top six. We're moving forward to my top five. Are you guys excited? <laughs> I'm excited. So my top five is Madly, but unfortunately this one I'm certain a hundred percent that this is a discontinued shade. The reason why I love this shade, this is a very nice layering kind of color or you can wear it by itself, but you have to be very careful what kind of makeup you are applying. If you are applying like a very dramatic eyes, dramatic lips, this is something that you want to consider because you don't want to have too much blush as well. And this is in the shade Madly again. I'm going to show you a swatch. That's how it is. So it's really nude. So you barely can see it. The reason why I included this because I also wanted to show you a very similar shade that NARS also came up right after they discontinue the Madly shade. And this is called Illicit. This is the Illicit right here. And this is the Madly. So look at those two colors together. They are very similar, but I wouldn't say they're the same. Illicit has a lot more brown. And more warmer you can see that this is a little bit darker and this is on a little bit more like a peachy pink and this is more like brown orange but they're very very similar again it's hard to see still like you can see it's right there so that is my top five blushes it's called um i don't know madly or elicit there to me it's pretty similar all right top four is behave this shade you guys is beautiful if you're looking for something like you know a little bit of purple a little bit of plum a little bit of pink this is very very subtle it's almost like it's just so pretty see this is what i'm talking about there you go so it's over here that's how it is my top four moving into my top three can you guys guess leave a comment down below what is my top three blush from nars top three blush is called deep throat i know you guys you probably are familiar with this uh, shade already but it's so so popular that everybody just loves it so this is how it looks like now, if I were to compare this with the Orgasm shade compared to Deep Throat, oh my goodness, all the names. <laughs> Deep Throat is very similar to Orgasm, except that Deep Throat doesn't have a specks of gold. This one is just slightly, has a little bit of that shimmer, but it's more towards pink. So that's the Deep Throat there. I'm going to give you a swatch. Ooh, so pretty so swatch is over there you can see it's definitely lighter and it's more fresher and that's the thing that i've been doing lately so that is my top three now let's move on to my top two you guys here it is gina of course gina has to be here oh my goodness gina is one of the most beautiful shade i, I, I ran out of words ever invented by NARS, especially on my tone. Like if you're looking for those kind of blush that doesn't look like super strong, but it gives you this like blush of corally blush, this is it. This is blush that you're looking for. Gina, my top two. Let me give you a swatch. I'm going to give you on my big thumb. <laughs> you can see that really slight coral 
and then I'm gonna give you a swatch here. Ooh, that's pretty. You can see it right there. Right? Like, you can see that shade there. It's not super bright. It's not super dark. It's not, like, really light also. It has enough pigment that when you put it on the cheek, oh my god, it's, like, the most prettiest blush. And it is also a matte finish. So if you're looking for something like this, definitely go for Gina. And last but not the least, my number one shade from NARS Blushes. Can you guys guess? I have mentioned this before on one of my videos, but you probably haven't seen it. Orgasm X. And the reason why Orgasm is my number seven, it's just because Orgasm X came up so this is slightly new addition to their collection they face out of like super orgasm which is very chunky glittery and then they came out with orgasm x which is the perfect perfect pigmentation perfect shade for me it does really shows up on my skin it's also not a matte finish also it is slightly satiny finish but not super like metallic to the feel you know or to the touch Every time I wear this blush, it just looks so beautiful, especially on like fair to medium and medium dark skin tone. Holy moly, this blush rocks you guys. That is the thing that I'm talking about. Like, it's just so pretty on the skin. It looks like you have this like a little bit of sun, a little bit of freshness, just naturalness around it plus that glow that it's giving and that is why it's my number one blush from NARS if you haven't tried it you probably haven't heard it before if you kind of like haven't visited NARS because this was an addition to whatever they have already for the collection if you haven't heard it before try it and you see what I mean like it's just so beautiful like again that's how it looks like so that is my number one blush from NARS. It is called Orgasmic. That is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests for me to do, if you want me to rank something like a lipstick or whatever it is, let me know in the comment section down below. And I hope you have fun and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you next time. Bye guys!